Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to Super Fun Sunday. Oh my God, I went through so many choices before I settled on this one. Um, I'll run through the list of people who I almost did. I was initially going to do Larry Stroman last night, but the only way that I could do it would be digital files. There's no way I could get to my X Factor issues. And uh, I just opted to shoot a book rather than use digital files. And then... um. I almost did Sergio Topi, I almost did Cyber Six by Carlos Meglia, and um, yeah, I just I'll, ultimately I ended up doing this one. So this book I got probably seven or eight months ago, and I've never looked at it. So this will be the first time that I've actually even flipped through it. Uh, it is brand new, like dead mint, um, except for like printing flaws or whatever. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah. This should be really cool. So let's do it. Love the cover. That's so cool. Yeah, we did Mobius last week. Um, but, uh, you know, he has such a wide body of work and such a varied body of work. I thought this would be really fun. So cool. It's almost got like a little, like, little Nemo and Slumberland kind of vibe to it. That's really cool. Man. So the art of Adina. I have not seen the Adina books. Oh yeah, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be super fun. <laughs> oh man, so cool. Yes, this has got a little Nemo and Slumberland vibe to me. Windsor McKay. I wanted to get that book so bad. It was expensive though. Someday I'll get it. There's a big, huge Windsor McKay book that, man, I don't remember what publisher did. I walked by their table and I saw it and I was like, no way, you guys are actually publishing this thing? And he's like, yeah, and I'm like, oh, let's look at some thumbnails. But yeah, if you've never checked out Windsor McKay's work, I would highly recommend it. He's a really fantastic artist. As is Mobius. This is cool. It's neat seeing his thumbnails. This always gives me confidence when I see thumbnails so primitively because uh, I would rather do them this way and just sort of have the layout and sort of um, shapes in than spend a lot of time on it. Because the more time you spend on the stuff, you kind of start to become um, attached to it. And it's not a good idea if you're trying to lay out stuff. You know what I mean? You want to throw down ideas, placement, size, you know, and then... You know, if you need to take out two panels, it's not a big deal because you only spend a few seconds on it. But then the key is turning these into like <laughs> awesome pages. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Um, I love that this book is in English, too. I have so many books that aren't in English. And uh, it's tough, you know. You want to read them, check them out, and get the backstory and everything. And sometimes you can't. I almost, it's funny, I have a book that's in Japanese, I have a friend that's Japanese, and I swear I, I've considered paying her to translate it. I'm like, please, just translate this for me so I can read this. It might have been an interview or something, I can't remember what it is specifically, but, oh man, that's really cool. had an idea for a guest for my YouTube channel last night. I'm not going to say who it is. But I'm going to try to get them. It would be pretty awesome if I can pull it off. So we'll see. It would be my first guest that I've ever had on the show. But uh, yeah, it's like the idea came to me and I was like, oh man, I think I could do this and it would be really cool. So we'll see. And it's not what you would think too, which makes it even better. Characters are so, so interesting. That's really cool. How many of you have this book or have read Adina? Mm, Monero was the other one that I need to do. I have Monero. Monero would be a tricky one. Almost, I might have to do it on a 
Vimeo or something. He's not going to be safe for work. Oh man, that's really cool. Oh, that's nice too. I like that. That's really, really cool. This has got like a Beatles Yellow Submarine vibe. <laughs> that art is actually really cool though. It was funny, I was looking through external hard drives uh, yesterday for some stuff and uh, I came across not only the making of Yellow Submarine, but um, a bunch of like black light poster art. It wasn't Beatles, but it reminded me of that kind of thing. <laughs> I love pop pop art. Poster art is cool. Oh, it's funny because it really did have a big resurgence with like Mondo and all those different things. It's interesting. Like, it's kind of calmed down, but man, that is great. I'll go back to that bottom thing in a sec. This is really cool too. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> really, really cool. Repairs. We'll read this. this. I feel like I'm doing my uh, Patreon stuff. Oh, speaking of that, Patreon, dude, I'm telling you, probably close to 400 videos now on Patreon. And uh, I actually, the people that have signed up recently, I need to send you. I have 25 other videos that I'll send you. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's so much stuff. We're doing a perspective series right now. I've been uploading um, inking videos, and uh, I made a big announcement there uh, recently. So had some really, really good news. Penciling news, uh, Blaster Kid, and Black Drawing. I, I hit the jackpot uh, a couple of days ago. So <clears throat> if you follow me on Instagram, you probably read the like the little blurb. I'll, I'll say more as it, it evolves, but... Yeah, I got penciling work, and I got a publisher for both uh, Black Drawings and Blaster Kid. But, uh, you know, still everything is in the early stages, so we'll work it out. But I want to do a story connecting me with the world of robots and the world of mechanics. Guys who are themselves in touch with engines, I think that the cars are a particular type of robot. They're like, oops. oh, I thought it was, oh, I get it, I get it. This gives them a great deal of power. Okay, interesting. That's cool. That reminds me of something. The Giger train thing. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man. Yeah, that totally reminds me of Giger did some stuff for uh Dune, which so did Mobius. Um reminds me a bit of that. Oh man, look at these. This is so cool. Well, I wouldn't mind actually doing another Juan Jimenez, um, like open that book or super fun Sunday too. Man, these repairmen are cool. I love the um, like how he did it real dark and then he went back over it with that that light color. It looks really good. And there he is, Jean Giraud. Oh man, yeah, this stuff is sick. I've okay, so I've seen this for sure. This is great. Holy man, that's so cool. Oh man, yeah, look at that. Whew. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Going down into the keys. <laughs> I like the lighting up there. Oh man, that's so sick. Look at those little guys. Wow, this is really, really cool. If you have watched the Barlow's Inferno uh, Super Fun Sunday, there's some stuff that he did with like lava and black kind of um, magma looking stuff in there. It's really, really cool. Man, that's such a nice shot. That's really cool too. And then, oh. 
Oh, yeah. So we're at 10 minutes. We're doing okay. Oh, man, look at that shot, too. That's really cool. Sorry, this is one of those books that's got kind of shiny paper, so I have to strategically uh, shoot this thing. Ooh, that was cool. I would love a video game of this. <laughs> oh, oh, let me just try to get the glare away. Come on. There we go. Uh, no, uh, I've got two desk lamps, and they're like fighting to desperately put glare on. God, that is so great. And look, there he is, creating the world. In the world. That's really cool. I kind of did that with my black drawing, the Silent Night one. There's like a room with like drawing sheets, like boards, art boards, and a piece of art on the table. And it was a reference to me creating the, the work. See, Mobius? Your influence channels through me that's really cool the end Mobis 1995 it was a long time ago but <clears throat> this is really cool god this book is big too oh, I'm just peeking I'm peeking okay that reminds me of the heavy metal movie <laughs> I think the first story was like a car driving in space. Oh, look, it's actually levitating. That's cool. Oh, bummer. This hasn't been translated. That's kind of a shame. Oh, man, that is so cool. Look at that. Oh, this is really nice, too. Wow. Sorry, I'll try to get the glare better in a sec. <clears throat> the lighting on that guy's shoes are great. The the one further back. It looks like a shiny marble. That's really cool. It's like magical cabbage. <laughs> It's a nice change of pace, how, how uh, sort of, I don't know if cartoony would be the right word, but it's so simple. It's cool. No, oh, that robot made me think of, like, <clears throat> some of the old, like, pulp covers. Like, some people had a knack. They could make a really simple robot. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, very intense looking. Like, this doesn't really look that intimidating to me. But, like, some people, man, they can just put, like, a goofy shaped head on a body. And, man, you just go, like, dude, if I saw that thing, I would get out of there. <laughs> this guy doesn't look super intimidating. Mobius' stuff never really has had much of a dark feel to me. I tend to lean towards the creepy side of stuff. But I like this stuff, too. Like, I like the beauty and art and sort of the peacefulness of it, but... Yeah, it's so cool. <clears throat> oh. mm. Some notes from the master. I'd often stare at things and draw out their meaning. For example, if I were staring at a tree, at some point it stopped being a tree and became only the meaning of a tree. That's kind of cool. really cool i wonder i mean this guy can draw his his butt off but i wonder if he actually pencils this or if he just draws it with ink he ruled out the border like 
some artists will freehand like even the um, I don't know whatever you want to call it, like the the frame around it. It's tough to do. I mean, uh, those are long lines, especially if the board is bigger in real life. Like, it's uh, it's not hard to draw a straight line, but a long one can get challenging. You know, like like these are freehand, but they're a little more loose. That's really cool little car. That's nice. That's so cool. Great little drawing. Man, like, that's just really, really awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, I can't even imagine, like, like, Okay, like, it's cool to see this in a book, but imagine, like, if you knew Mobius, and you could just go to his house, and he, he had, like, a big stack, of, like, four or five hundred sheets of these drawings. You, it's so much more impressive when you see stuff like that, because you really realize that this is something, like, that's created by, like, someone's hand and their imagination, and it's, like, there's only one of them that exists. It's a little different in a book, but, yeah, I mean, God, it's, like, You'd be like, where did you come up with all this? I had a friend, I think I mentioned this in an older video, not not too long ago, but they had dinner with Kim Jong-ji, and he said that he was looking through his sketchbook, and he said it was just unbelievable. Like, he, we all know how good that guy is, but he said when you see, like, his sketchbook, and you see it in person, and you realize the magnitude of kind of, like, what he does, he said it was like... It was insane. <laughs> I get what he's saying. Like this. I mean, if you were just flipping through like a stack of pages and he had this drawing, you'd just be like, dude, that's like the coolest little drawing ever. And he's just got pages and pages of them. Stacks. I don't know if Mo Mobius had kids or not, but I wonder what... Uh... What happened with all of his art? You know, was he married? Like, because with Frazetta, there was like a whole thing. The the family kind of got into, a, you know, like, I think he had his four kids. But, you know, at some point... When you're sitting on a fortune, it sounds bad. I hate to think of it that way, but just the the, the significance of it, just as the art alone, is, is has a value on top of monetary value. That's really cool. Oh man, that's great. Hell yeah. God, man. Whew, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think this is all hand colored too, is it? It looks hand colored. God dang. That is just nuts. This is so much work. I'd love to see a video of him doing like a full page. Like, <laughs> I mean, obviously it will never happen now, but, but, uh, you can find, there's some few little videos of him drawing, but I mean, like, I would love to see what, uh, what was going on with these. Like, it does look like they're inked a lot of times with this kind of stuff. They'll ink it after they color it. I'm not saying that he did, but it's, you know what I mean? Like you have the pencil drawing, you lay in the color, you kind of ink stuff because if you if you lay color over ink, you know it can it can kind of like the line work doesn't look as clear and and uh, there's little things that can kind of pop up. So I, I don't know. I'm just speculating, but um, man, this is a great book. I I can't even get over how cool this is. Wow, I'm telling you, this should be a video game. It's like a way cooler version of like Tomb Raider. <laughs> 
Although the Tomb Raider games were actually really fun. Wow, that's interesting. Hmm. I like it. And now we're floating. Wow, God, this is so good. Man, this is really cool. Dude. A short story. It's not the. It's not in the same environments as this, but it's similar to it that that I'm gonna do at some point. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a person, and they just sort of truck through this like crazy, crazy like sort of series of things. I shan't say more right now, <laughs> and that's really cool. Oh man, they all look like uh, really primitive Abe Sapiens to me. <laughs> okay. It's interesting. There's there's very very little dialogue in this story. That's cool. Yeah, I've done a, I've done a few um, Mobius Jean Giraud <clears throat> videos. We'll skip through this. This is like some sort of animated thing. We'll move through this a little quick. Just, just... Oh. Almost dropped the phone. That's really cool. Great colors on that. Man, that's nice. That's really cool. <clears throat> I wonder. I wonder if his original board was like this. <laughs> Arm is killing me. I threw out my shoulder. re-injured an old injury. Yeah, I was saying in my uh, my Patreon video when I got the good news about all the penciling work and the opportunity to do the Blaster Kid and Black drawings as books, um, uh, I was having kind of a crappy day. It was like I have a cold. My shoulder was jacked. <laughs> I was like working and like just kind of dealing with like some kind of crap. <laughs> and then it was like 90 minutes later I had gone through a series of emails and then like a phone call and it was like I was like oh my god like everything just fell into place like <laughs> it didn't seem real dying to see Naples oh it's really cool So cool. I've seen this. God, the colors are crazy. What is the what is the paint that he uses when he colors this stuff? Someone will know. But what is it like is it like dyes or watercolor or acrylic? Wash? Let me know. I mean, this this 
particular page could be digital, but what I'm, I'm what I mean is that, that this looks maybe like it's digital, but the other stuff that's hand colored, what do you think it is? Man, the colors are great on this stuff. It's really, really nice. Hopefully it comes through on the phone. My phone is reading a little dark, um, but hopefully it's not filming it as dark as what I'm seeing. But yeah, the colors on this are beautiful. His grads are just great. The color choices that he's making are really phenomenal. And so, well, I'll point this out because I always try to encourage people to draw. And, and then I tell people that, like, look, if you can't draw people really good right now, if you can draw little things like this, three-dimensional bricks, you know, a little scene like this, you're still making progress and you're still developing muscles that you can use down the road. So don't ever, you know, don't feel like because you can't do figure drawing like, you know one of your heroes that that there's nothing that you can draw because it's easy to feel defeated like on one front and have that shut down the whole process but just try stuff if you're not good at the way that you want to draw now like can you cartoon stuff like what can you do that'll kind of keep you drawing because that's what will get you better you know and what you'll find is then then you have a point of view to add to your work so that's what really helps is you know what i mean like if you stop and you only knew a hundred things, then you're never going to learn more than a hundred things. But if you find other things you can develop, now you might know 165 things and then learning a new thing won't be as hard because in those 65 other things that you learned doing something that you could draw, <laughs> you solved other problems. It's kind of a whole, it's like a, there's a balance that it all has. So I was kind of, I explained that to the people that are learning the perspective stuff. It's like when we go through the book the first time, you're not necessarily going to learn it all, but you'll definitely know more than you did. And if you use the stuff and then, you know, it just all, it all builds, you know, it all compounds and you won't even see the progress. That's what, that's how, I, what I found is it was like, I went from not being able to draw to like having sort of two or three sort of significant nights where I was like, wow, okay, like, stuff has changed. Like, this is, like, I'm able to think about what I want to do and actually do it, and it's coming out even better than I thought that it was going to come out, you know. And then that stays, and it, feel, it feels more like the normal. And I'm not, I to be clear, it's not like I think I draw really good right now at all. Um, but, but I'm just saying that, like, you'll have progress where you'll get to a point, you know what I mean? There's many levels to it. <laughs> just saying I got comfortable at a low level. Oh man, that's great. God dang. That's crazy. This is like simple Jeff Darrow. <laughs> so we're 28 minutes. That's really cool. It's fun stuff to look at because you know if you if you devote a little time to the pieces, you can find like little Easter eggs and stuff in them. This is a really cool series of drawings. Oh man, <clears throat> so good. My patrons could draw this now. <laughs> Ellie set it up. Do you see your vanishing points? You do. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> man, his his just vision is so cool. Oh, man. Oh, that's 
that's cool. Boom. Wow. This is amazing. Look at this. It's a shame that it's like, uh, again, this is what I'm saying though. It's like, dude, how many insane pieces does he have like this? It's thousands. Not just in this book. I'm talking about his whole body of work. It's just crazy. Somewhere this stuff exists in real form. Now, is this digitally colored? Yeah, this looks digitally colored. Man, the black and white would be beautiful too, though. Dude. Yeah, this guy is just incredible. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up in just a second because we're getting to like the point where it's gonna cut my video off. So we'll do one more page and then we'll call it a day. But again, hopefully everyone has a great day and uh, you know this should be like fun, imaginative uh, inspiration for you. We'll go one more. I always like to end on something that like is mind shattering. But uh, yeah, best of luck with your work. And uh, again, this month will be busy. It's like I've got all kinds of holiday deadlines. I have to wrap up a bunch of stuff here over the next probably like six to eight weeks. So it'll be a little crazy, but then everything should start to settle down around mid-January. Okay, all right. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.